Hey, hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome to the Dead Air Dudes. I'm Izzy, doing a little solo episode here, and today we're going to review Disney Plus's, or Disney's new movie, Mulan. Basically, for all you people who don't know, Mulan is a reimagining of the original, you know, animated story of the same name. All right, except um, it's the most live action. There's no dancing or there's no uh, singing dragons or anything of that nature, you know, so it should be good. And Disney, they gave you premiere access to watch it at home if you have Disney+. Plus. You had to pay uh, $30 to get to watch it early. I mean, you can watch it now, or you can watch it in the theater. You know, pretty convenient, but it is uh, kind of a you know steep price if you know you're not a fan or you're not a reviewer like me, or you're not a you know he's never into it. If not, you can wait to December and watch the movie when it comes out on Disney Plus normal. You know, when you just pay the direct subscription. You know. All right, now uh, it was directed by Nikki Caro. Screenplay by Rick Jaffa, Amanda Silver, Elizabeth Martin, and Lauren Hynek. Okay, it stars Yefei or Yifi Liu as Mulan. Sorry if I'm gonna butcher these names, but then you have which I was kind of I, I didn't know this. You had Donnie Yen playing Commander Tung, Jet Li playing the Emperor, you know, in a non you know martial arts performance. Li Gong playing, I'm, not, I'm gonna mangle her name, so The Witch. Jason Scott Lee playing Bori Khan. And, you know, a cast of, you know, many, 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 many people. So, first off, the good thing it was beautifully shot. The action sequences were really good. Over the top martial arts style, you know what I mean? But then again, that's what you expect. A lot of wire work, a lot of, you know, but all the actors playing the central roles are are trained in the martial arts, like Donnie Yen and even even the lead actress, uh, you know, playing Mulan. I don't know, you know, made a lot of movies like that. So uh, yeah, so in that sense, all that the, the fighting scenes were cool, the battles works, all works. The Disney, the kind of Disney theme where it goes, um, you know, it was good too. It almost, watching the movie, it's almost like you forget it's a Disney movie. And I'm saying that not in a bad way. The Disney movies, Disney movies are bad. They're not. It's just, you know, you have that family fair and whatever and, you know. I mean, they actually had a lot of killing in this movie. Of course, no blood, but it's war and people die. So it's a battle. You know, all right. So we're gonna go. I'm gonna try to try not to bore you with so many details, but spoilers abound. So get ready. Uh, at first, you enter uh, at, when the movie starts. You see the, the Mulan's village, and as a young kid, she was already you know pretty badass. She's chasing a chicken around, climbing up the stairs a, across the roof, trying to get this chicken. And when she's on top of the roof, about I don't even know how, how high she is. She falls, and then she does a backflip, and she ends up not, you know, not uh, not hurting herself. But what they say was that her chi, her chi is very strong. Now, I guess they consider chi to be a power, and which is what warriors have. And maybe she's a pretty young bunch's kid, and as a and as a girl, that's frowned upon, especially in that time, in that era, in that you know, in that area. So her duty was to, you know, eventually, you know, be matched up and, you know, become a wife and honor her family that way. Obviously as a young as a young child, the dad already knew what kind of a kid she is. And that she was very strong willed, very hard headed, very strong, while her little sister it was more, you know, prim proper and, you know, more girl like, quote unquote unquote. You know, and yeah, so 
it progresses. You know, the mom is kind of against the way Mulan is. And, you know, it's, you know, it's kind of like, you know, you know what? You have to talk to her. She has to change the way she is. If not, the matchmaker will have nothing to do with her. And eventually, she's not going to find a suitable husband, you know, which in turn will shame the family and yada, 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 yada. She gets older. The dad speaks to her. She agrees. Kind of almost what he didn't want to do, what he didn't want to break her spirit. But this happens. Okay. On the other side of the world, on the other side of the world, you have the emperor and all of his garrisons, all of his bases, you know. The, these warriors, warlords, attack. They attack the garrisons and they start taking them all out one by one. They have a witch who can transform from bird into a person, from a person into another person, meaning take their body and, you know, a shit show happens. And the leader is Bori Khan, played by Jason Scott Lee. You know, he, he chewed up scenery in this role. So, uh, yeah, they have a bunch of a bunch of shadow warriors, and basically they're gonna they they, they want to take over they want to take over uh kill the emperor because uh the emperor killed Borikan's dad. So wants revenge to take over, and the witch obviously she since she was a witch she was exiled. She's working in conjunction with Borikan, and you know. So the emperor has this idea, puts out an edict that from every village, from every town, from every family, a male, a boy, a male, has to be given to the army, basically. They want to build this huge army to fight off these invaders in the north. All right. Now, Mulan's family, it's only two girls, and the dad and the mom. So... When they show up at the village, he knows this, so he automatically, you know, says, you know what, I volunteer myself. I was a great warrior, this and that, da da. He says, what, don't you have, don't you have a son? He said, no, I have, I have been graced with two daughters. Now, what I neglected to mention was the father, being a good dude, whatever, has either a messed up foot, a messed up knee, or can't really walk too well. He holds a cane, so he has like this brace. That, I guess, helps him, you know, get around. He takes the brace off, tries to walk, he falls, gets back up. Mulan goes to help him. The mom stops Mulan and says, look, you're going to embarrass him even more if you help him. So, I guess the, the emissary from the emperor, he accepts it, gives him the thing, and the father is going to go to war. Now, if you remember the story from the cartoon, here's where the, here's where the twist comes. Mulan says, if I were if I were a boy, this would be different, whatever, I can go and fight. He gets the dad gets mad. He's cleaning out his um he's checking out his armor and the sword and shows the sword, which it's inscribed on the on the hand on the on the blade, loyal, brave, and true. Okay? Now I guess that that's a theme throughout the movie, that loyal, brave, and true. So basically, when um, so Mulan sees her dad and knows that she has to do something, basically. And like I said, if you've seen the cartoon, then you know what transpires. He says he's leaving in the morning. So Mulan grabs all her stuff and takes off. She takes off to go to, you know. Join the join the army, basically, you know, without telling her parents. Now, when she leaves, she takes the horse, she takes his sword, she takes her the armor and the whole thing, and she gets lost. Now, before that, the doc, uh, the doc, geez, the doc, before that, her father had mentioned about the phoenix, the phoenix rises from the ashes, and it's a theme throughout the movie. The phoenix, you know, is like uh, the peace and prosperity, and you know, it's 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 they show the phoenix throughout the movie, and every time you see the phoenix good things are going to happen. So the phoenix essentially leads her out of being lost. And she gets to the, she gets to the to the camp where Commander Tong, which is played by none other than Don Don Yen, then she passes off as um as 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 a boy, as a man, you know. Um jeez, I forgot I forgot the name her name and as a guy. 
but you know, hair in a bun, whatever, and no makeup, and you know, then again, she's younger anyway, so, so really, she meets the guys, get, gets into an altercation with one of the guys, who they end up becoming friends later on, I mean, and yeah, so, it shows her training, and uh, she becomes, you know, one of the, one of the, the better, if not the best, war of the bunch, back to the Bori Khan and his boys, they're taking over, other towns and taking over other barracks and they're getting they're about I think a day away from attacking you know the Imperial City which is where the Emperor is you know so they're not ready but they're like you know what we have to head them off at the pass boom so they go and they meet the 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 the, the nomad the, the warriors the, they meet the warlords the the you know the bad guys and then there's a huge fight. Now, um, within the skirmish, Mulan is in a group, and she goes after. She thinks that there's a bunch. There's Bori Khan and his boys, like a smaller group. They're retreating, so she goes after them. When she goes after them, she like loses them, and then she ends up running into the witch. And her and the witch get into a fight. She's like, "Oh, who are you?" And she goes, "Oh, um." You know, I forgot her name. You know, the she doesn't say she's Mulan. She says I'm I'm Gua, Gua, Gua G or something like that. Um, I'm the you know the boy, whatever. Uh, he, and she goes, well, you're a liar. You're gonna die as a liar. So they fight. She throws a shooting star at Mulan, and then that's when you see Mulan or that character, you know, her boy side died. She got saved because I was she's wearing something to uh, you know to cover her breasts, hold them down, and that's what basically saved her life with the shooting star. Now after that, she's like, you know what? Screw this. I'm a badass chick. I'm Mulan. Takes the freaking you know takes her hair out and goes back into the fray. Go back into the fight. Comes back, starts kicking ass, using her chi and the whole nine yards and beating people up. Now, they start getting catapults. The bad guys start getting catapults, start shooting the catapults. She gets an idea because in the distance, you have, you, have like, um, you have the mountains covered with snow. So she goes basically to trick them into shooting the catapult at the mountain, which in turn will cause an avalanche, in which it does, and it wipes everybody out. Not before Mulan saves the day, saves them, also saves the guy, um, who, uh, she had, a uh, you know, an altercation with, who they, be, they become, you know, became friends, whatever, they had this relationship and everything, not, not, you know, romantic or anything, even though I think they were kind of toward of quasi leading towards that, but, you know, it's a Disney movie, so they were never gonna go into that, de de that detail, under that, she saved his life, then when they're all together, whatever, they're like, oh, where's, where's, what's his face? Mulan shows up, and it was, but he's a girl. And then as we're in Commander Tong, it's like, oh, you know, you bring this honor to the house, to, to me, to the army, to the whole thing. You're, you know, expelled, be gone. You, you can't, you know, you got to get the hell out of here. You can't, you can't, uh, you know, you can't be here no more. And she goes, I prefer to die. And he goes, well, if I see you again, I'm going to kill you. So get out of here. So she leaves. She runs into the witch again. The witch, knowing full well what's going on, tries to get her on her side and turn her against, you know. She's like, you know what? I'm not turning. I'm loyal. Da-da-da-da. Whatever. And she goes, and then she finds out, well, I was going to go get Bori Khan because he retreated. He was a, he's a freaking coward. And she, the witch is like, dude, he's not a coward. The whole thing was a ploy. It was a figure to get you guys occupied while he attacks the freaking city and kills the emperor. Oh shit. Mulan runs back, goes back to the barracks, go back, talk to the commander. He's like, You wanna kill me? Kill me, but hear me out. This happening it was all bullshit. He's attacking the emperor now, he's gonna kill him. All all the all, all the boys vouch for her, they're like, you know, I I'm I'm with Mulan, I'm with Mulan and the commander, Nani Yen, he's like, you know what? You're the best warrior we have, we got. Your idea is sound. We'll follow you into battle. You know. Doo -doo -doo -doo. 
So they have a small, like, her and her boys and the commander, they go try to, you know, cut off the freaking, uh, cut off Bori Khan and his bad guys before they kill the Emperor. Bunch of, bunch of stuff happens. The witch tricks everybody, locks all the people inside. They capture the, the Emperor. Bori Khan captures the Emperor and locks, and is going to burn him alive, you know, in a freaking... In some, you know, fortress or whatever the hell he's going to do. And here's where, you know, the whole Disney thing gets, you know, becomes, you know, the third act becomes very Disney-like, you know. Like, obviously, you know it's going to be a happy ending. You know that, you know, it's going to happen. And uh, so, Mulan escapes, finds the Emperor, has a battle with Bori Khan. But, oh, but not only, but not before the witch appeals like comes comes full circle and in essence saves Mulan's life I'm not gonna mention I'm not gonna tell you how so when you watch it be at least quasi surprised you know and she you know redeems herself Mulan fights with Bori Khan defeats Bori Khan saves the Emperor saves the day Emperor tells her tells her hey you know you're such a great warrior you saved me, you saved my life, you saved the kingdom, you saved the world. Be part of my guard. And she's like, you know what, thanks for the offer, but I gotta go back home because I stole my dad's horse, his sword, you know. Oh, she dropped the sword, by the way, also, in, in the whole man, one of the melee, so. And I need forgiveness, whatever. She's like, all right, cool, peace. She goes all the way back home. When she gets home, the sister's happy to see her. She's, she's already, uh, She's matched up with a dude, and the mom is happy to see her. The dad's happy to see her. He's like, I apologize, whatever, you know. Don't they care about my daughters? Da 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 da. Do 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 do. And we're one happy, the happy family again. The emperor's emissary, some dude comes and says, "Hey, oh, the uh, um, the commander said, you know, come back. You know what? The emperor likes you for you to reconsider the offer." And he wants to give you this. So it was a new sword that had loyal, brave, and true. And a, an additional inscription to the other side say, that says devotion to family, which is exactly what Mulan had more than anyone was devotion to family. All right. And pretty much that's how the movie ends. So all in all, it was a good movie. It worth thirty bucks. I mean, it all depends how you know. If you were gonna watch it in the theater, it's still cheaper than one in the theater. You know, popcorn, jujubes, goobers, you know, sour patch kids, and all that stuff wouldn't cost you fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty bucks, depending if you you know. You've been going by yourself. It's probably been a better deal to watch it at home. And uh, yeah, the acting was good. The battle scenes was good. Beautifully shot and directed. The film was really very, 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 very pretty movie. So all in all. In our rating system, I would give it popcorn and butter. Not all the fixings, but it was it was a good movie. It was a good movie, not a great movie. So basically, that's the extended Mulan movie review. And from the data dudes, I'm Izzy. Everybody stay safe. As always, save the whales. Take care, guys.